Synthetic fuel was one of the lesser known but crucial elements of Germany's war effort during World War II. When the war broke out, Germany quickly realized that its military ambitions could be stifled by limited access to oil. Most of Europe's oil fields were beyond the reach of the Third Reich, and the British naval blockade further restricted oil imports. This strategic challenge forced German authorities to turn to innovative solutions, such as synthetic fuel production. Synthetic fuel was primarily produced using coal, which Germany had in abundance. Through the key chemical process known as the fischer tropsch synthesis, coal underwent complex reactions to create fuel capable of powering a wide range of military vehicles, from tanks and trucks to fighter planes and bombers. This advanced production allowed Germany to maintain the operational capacity of its armed forces even when natural oil supplies were unavailable. Thanks to synthetic fuel, Germany could conduct prolonged military campaigns, such as the North African Offensive and operations on the Eastern Front, where logistics and supply were essential for maintaining effective warfare. Synthetic fuel production was one reason why the formidable Panzerwaffe, the German armored force, could continue to function despite increasingly limited resources. Factories that produce synthetic fuel, such as the massive complexes in Leuna and Perlitz, modern-day police in Poland, employed thousands of workers, including forced laborers. However, the production process was expensive and energy-intensive, placing a significant burden on Germany's war economy. Furthermore, these facilities were vulnerable to Allied air raids, which soon recognized their critical role in sustaining the German war effort. Strategic bombings by Allied forces aimed to paralyze fuel production, eventually achieving this goal. The destruction of these factories contributed to the declining combat capability of the Wehrmacht and Luftwaffe, severely limiting Germany's offensive potential. Despite its importance, maintaining synthetic fuel production at levels sufficient to meet Germany's wartime needs was challenging. In the final years of the war, as human and material resources dwindled and bombing campaigns intensified, production levels began to fall. By the war's end, fuel shortages became one of the decisive factors leading to the Third Reich's military defeat. Tanks sat idle, planes were grounded, and logistics turned into a nightmare. Synthetic fuel remains a testament to German innovation and technological determination in the face of adversity. For modern historians and researchers, it serves as an example of how resource crises can drive technological progress and how strategic decisions can impact the course of armed conflicts. After the war, synthetic fuel technologies found applications in other countries, and their development continued with future energy challenges in mind.